Coming into the, a family business is probably never an easy thing to do. Um, and especially coming on with dad there. That's a, like I said, I think the footsteps to follow and you have to find your way. But I, but like that, I'd be able to go to school fairly quick. I left at 16, came straight into the garage. John went away to England for three years, so I was actually in the business probably a couple of years before John came in. Um, but I came in through the workshop that way. But you have to, you won't automatically get respect, you have to gain respect. And you know, you have to work with men, and, and, and it's never, as I say, it's never easy to follow, but you have to, you can't try to be him. You have to, we have to try to be ourselves. That he sort of had worked out where I was probably always commercial oriented in um, my earlier days. So, um, you know, big part of my working life, I've worked here in the Claude branch where working with commercial vehicles and, and municipal stuff and pickups, etc. And John has always looked after the Maydown site. So if, it was good from the point of view with two identities and two bits of the business to look after. but. Um, we just had to find your own way and be ourselves and it was impossible following him because that's, that was an impossible act to follow. So we just had to be ourselves really. The, the big thing in, in Dad's time and, and where we stepped, whenever John and myself stepped into the business, um, it was very much, um, Vauxhall was in, uh, made in at that stage and Bedford was here in Claude. But he didn't find out in life that nothing stands still very long and uh, Probably in the early mid 80s, uh, Bedford they decided to cease production of vehicles in uh, Europe. So um, that was a major blow for us. Was the business here in Claudia was totally reliant on uh, Bedford. So we stepped back and thought about it, and we were lucky enough we took on the DAF franchise that time. And Vauxhall uh, continued to work away in Maidown, but. We started out with daft trucks, very, very important few years in our lives. Uh, but unfortunately then, um, about 10 years later, they decided that they were changing their distributor network within Northern Ireland. So we had to start all over again. And at that stage probably I vowed that we're never gonna put all our eggs in one basket again, because when daft went, we were just, that was everything and Claudia gone again. So at that stage, um, we, we took on a, a Veco after sales uh, franchise, which to this day we still have, which is I think we have about 27 years um, with the Veco trucks. Um, and then we moved on to, I was originally Dehatsu, um, the Jeeps, but again, Dehatsu then stopped production in Europe. And so our, you know, our big relationship with Claudia was over the last 20 years been at Isuzu, which has been a fantastic franchise for us to have. Um, which we have to this day, um, and we've changed it around. So there's, things have changed and we've brought other things on board. Most recent times, um, we decided that, um, it's like everything I say, you don't stand still, you have to always move forward. So we've moved on the trailers over the last few years uh, with Brian James, which is a fantastic brand, has done very, very well. And most recently, we've took on MTech trailers, which is more agricultural based, and cattle trailers and small um, quad trailers and things like this. So it's been, very, very good, but uh, Maydown, the big um, the big thing in Maydown was probably um, when Vauxhall um, decided they were changing them. At that stage, I think about Vauxhall was 60 years, um, a long time. They just decided they were going to stop how they were, uh, change how they were operating. So we, at that stage, um, sold the old building, built the new building, and we done the mostly used cars at that stage. And along with that, we have, um, we specialise in used cars, changed the whole way of operating, but in most recent times, in the last couple of years, then we've obviously brought a Zuzu, now moved at the Maydown for the sale front, we took on Subaru, um, what originally was LDV vans, is now Maxxis vans, and that's so, most of our sales side of the business is now carried out from Maydown, and uh, that's, that's how that's changed over the years. When I sit and reflecting back on, on what we are doing now and how we are now, and I didn't think of it at the time, but you know, most of the brands that we're with now are all family backed, like ourselves. So our Zuzu, our Zuzu and uh, Subaru um, is a company owned by International Motors, which is Edmondson family owned that company. So it's a family owned company with um, 
their their way of working only a lot bigger way but it's very similar to the way a family business and the family involved this day um, you know Brian James Tudor's um, family again involved right through it Max's Vans was um, founded by the Harris Gripper the main importer for Max's Vans Pino Harris was a he you know, had passed away now but he was built up a massive empire in the Republic Ireland um, important trucks and vans but again family back Mrs Harris now has took over that role and she's involved in that and most recently with her M-Tech trailers again a family a young family company who started up so I didn't actually think about it until I thought back on it and so many of them, the companies around us now are all family backed and from the original Aikens Corner um, up to the, the, the present site in Claudia which he's expanded over the years and then him for the foresight to open um, in the city, going on the London Day itself, which was a uh, big time to do at that time. Um, very difficult times um, through the, the late 60s and early 70s, very, very difficult times. But he had good people around him, uh, working with him, who helped him through that. And they decided at that stage then to move to Kiamsi and Maydown. And moving to Maydown was the foresight to do that because he, he was the first motor dealer to go down that line and now if you drive down that road that's from Motor Mile as such in the North West um, but he was the first guy there so it was, it, he wouldn't see it to the achievement as it was but when we sit and look at it we can see the, the foresight they had at that time to move out of the city but the challenges from John and myself coming in the business is say nothing stands still as I said earlier there's always things changing and you always have to keep moving with it and develop with it and Whenever the, I suppose the last big landmark for us was whenever the Maidown site had been done for 40 years, when we decided to sell that, and what was the next step going to be? Did we slip off into retirement, or did we move forward? So obviously there's another generation, Joel, come on through, um, and you know, I still, we still feel we wanted something to give, so whenever we moved into the Maidown site, built the new site, that was a probably a massive landmark and probably one of the best things we've ever done. Um, and just changed the way we operated and had a whole rethink. So that was probably that was probably the biggest uh, the biggest change in most recent times. But nothing stands still. There's always something moving. I think probably one of the things um, to be about so long. We're probably one of the only motor dealers in Northern Ireland now that's still family owned and family involved. You know, Dad's still here, uh, rocking around the place. Uh, and as we read the Hatchie, um, and John and myself still have them involved. Um, and my wife, she looks after all the, the paperwork and the administration for both sites. Um, and then Joel, obviously, uh, new blood coming through the next generation, and, and he's always bringing ideas to your table. And we're lucky enough, Curtis is also involved in Claudia, um, and he looks after the after sales in Claudia and the. Um, after sales and, and trailer admin and stuff. So, you know, we're probably where we are, it's family oriented. They're, we're all involved, feet are on the ground. You know, the one thing dad taught us over the life, our life, don't set you up on a pedestal. Just your level playing field and keep working with everybody and, you know, respect everybody around you. You know, we've been so lucky over the years to have such loyal staff work with us. You know, many, many staff here for their whole lifetime. They've given to Aiken Brothers to work with us. Um, and you know, we just feel like one big family a lot of the time, and uh, that's probably the bit that is um, probably made us that wee bit different in some ways. Anybody can have the phone, speak to, if someone's a problem, they'll have to phone, speak to me, speak to John, speak to any of us. We don't sit up in an office and hide, we're on the floor ourselves all the time, we're on the ground, and we're out still actively involved in everything. Um, you might be busy 100 years, that doesn't mean to say you know everything. Every day is learning day. That never changes, never changes.